Oh no, he's going to make Durunk die again. Durunk is hysterical. And Alexander keeps telling him jokes. Go do something else, Alexander. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to Westfall Stories, a Sims 4 series about a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. We rejoin Eve Westfall as she's got married to Durunk, finally. And we're trying to get the rest of our debt paid down. Now, right now, Eve is a little bit tired. No, don't go check on the baby. Let's go and get our needs taken care of first. The baby is only a little bit hungry. Now, hopefully this works because I really don't like having to cheat the needs, but a lot of times it doesn't work at all. Oh, and I forgot, we have death over here because unfortunately we lost another one of our cats. Magnus was an elder and he passed away as soon as I loaded into the game. So I missed that, I'm sorry, we now only have 25 cats. I'm pretty sure that we also have a bunch of elder cats, so unfortunately we will be losing a few more this week. There, as I suspected, Drump came in here and took care of some of the infants. Yeah, you're fed. Oh, you still really need something to eat. Drump, you forgot her. Marley needs something to eat too. Well, I guess I'll get her. What? What do you mean you won't eat? Come on, you're starving. I'm pretty sure that she prefers breastfeeding. All right, it's time to try for another baby. Why are you in our conversation? And Eve is eating for two. Oh no, we're losing another cat. Wendy is now not with us anymore. I think we're probably going to lose a cat almost every day this week because I have a bunch of elders, unfortunately. So everyone is always going to be sad. Unfortunately, I see a bunch of puke out here from a cat and that usually means one of them is pregnant. So we might be getting more kittens and then some of them are going into heat. I was hoping that we could actually get through this curse and not have any more kittens, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh, now we're losing Winston. Yeah, it's gonna be a chain reaction, unfortunately. Down to 23 cats. And there goes Cosmo. Well, it's Alexander and Marley's birthday. Well, it looks like it's Loki's time now. Now Catastrophe is dying. Okay, I have no idea how many cats we have left now. Whoa, look at that cat's ears. I did not know cats could look like that. Those ears are huge. Okay, Eve is feeling really sad right now and not her typical cheerful self. Her life has taken a pretty gloomy turn. Embrace the change. This is kind of ridiculous, but she's going to be sad because she gets a lot of cat deaths, unfortunately. She has a lot of elder cats. And I don't know why, but for some reason when I reload the game, if she has any sort of sad mood lit, she immediately has an emotional meltdown due to her celebrity status. It's just silly. Look at all these good buffs. I think it's the way the game loads. It doesn't load properly and it thinks that the sad buff is the biggest one, but it's not. Okay, Eve and Cleo are supportive now and now Rudy is passing away. All right, who put Alexander out here? Durump, I'm looking at you, but I think he's about to age up, so it doesn't matter. No, don't go to sleep. Happy birthday, Alexander. You're going to become a toddler now. And all of our toddlers are going to be independent. Why, hello, Josie. She's going to be my victim for today. Really, I'm just borrowing some of her energy. It doesn't really hurt her in any way. And there she swims happily away. Even though she should be really tired, she's just going to go home. Oh no, Precious is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. We are getting more kittens. I was hoping the kittens were done. We were actually almost down to one row of Sims, but no, we have more kittens. And happy birthday to Marley too. And you're also going to be independent. Okay, we have a duchess a snugs two kittens that's it oh it's almost eve's birthday as well okay Durumk is a freegan now i don't understand how he got that particular one and eve has gone into labor so what will we get this time a boy a girl both twins triplets a single baby we got a boy 
and his name is Jane. Not sure I like that because I'm not sure if that's Jamie or Jane. We'll, we'll go with Jackson. And Skylar is a girl. Twins. Oh no, there's a fire and no one can get to it, of course. Let's have everyone come inside and open presents for Winterfest. <laughs> it looks like Eve got the prank gift. Oh look, it's Santa. Okay, Eve got a slablet. Apparently Santa doesn't know that she's a technophobe. Oh, we're losing care again. I think we have one more elder and then that'll be it for the cat deaths. Oh, it's already Jackson and Skylar's birthday. And there goes our last elder. Whitney is now passing away and we have no more elder cats. Oh no, he's gonna make Durunk die again. Durunk is hysterical and Alexander keeps telling him jokes. Go do something else, Alexander. Okay, I think I discovered why Durunk keeps getting hysterical because he's happily cleaning on a dusty floor and unfortunately he has the neat trait. So I need to keep all of the floors free of dust or we are going to lose him again. And I don't think that the Reaper will spare him another time because it's just a 50-50 chance. And with my luck, he's not going to win the next time. Stop laughing, Drunk. You're gonna die. And I can't control him because he's not one of my set. Oh, and there he goes. I knew it. Great. The kid kept telling him jokes because they were jokesters and I didn't notice that he was hysterical. Oh, this is not a good day. I was aging Alexander up. Or Jackson. I was aging Jackson up too. Okay, we're going to have a calm infant. Right on Jackson's birthday. You had to die. Okay, stop it, Eve. I know the baby needs feeding, but please just go beg for Durant life one more time. Come on, hurry up before he makes him a, an urn or a tombstone. And, yeah, I knew it. All right. Well, he is an island spirit, so I don't know if we should just keep adding him to the household. I think that seems kind of cheaty. So we might have to get a different husband. I don't know. But because Durump is an island spirit, the next time I summon the spirits, he will be among them. This has happened before. Okay, and Skylar is going to be a cautious infant. Ellie came over and look, she's pregnant. I think a lot of the siblings got pregnant or maybe the cousins. I keep forgetting. I, actually, I think Ellie is a cousin. A kitten is born and we have a boy named Cody and a girl named Maya. Two kittens. Oh yes, the plates are finally out on the table. Now, once we get those two plates sold, I think that we can pay off a significant amount of our debt. And there goes one, and there's the other one. Well, why can't you get there? Oh, this is so annoying. I just am gonna have to clean you up, I guess. No, I'm not strict because I want to clean her up. Oh, this is so terrible. It wouldn't let me give her a bath for asking from her perspective. And so now Eve is strict. Sure. And now I can't even clean her up. Why is this so buggy? All right, let's see if we can change the strict to supportive. Okay, apparently I cannot have two bathtubs because when I have two bathtubs, she gets a routing issue and she can't give any of the toddlers a bath. I don't get it. Maybe I'll just make another toilet then and we won't have a second bathtub. Why did you finish so quickly? Okay, I guess he is done. I had to cancel Night on the Town so that I could summon the Island Elementals. That's just kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I can't summon them during a holiday. Oh, and they're different now. I don't see Durumk. Okay, there are three and they are all female. All right, so I guess this time there's no cheaty way to get Durump back. She's a mean kleptomaniac snob. Okay, this one has really bad traits. Oh, there's still some room for improvement. Okay. Oh, Brent aged up. Okay, I wasn't keeping track of the toddlers. I guess uh, proper or should we make him a klepto? If you make your kids kleptos, they will steal stuff at school and you can sell it when they get home. Uh, I guess we'll avoid that and maybe make them a collector 
or a geek, and you can have the social butterfly aspiration. That should mean that Denise is going to age up soon. Yep, there she goes. Happy birthday, Denise. You're also going to be a geek and a social butterfly. So Duchess aged up and is an adult cat, and Snugs aged up and is an adult cat. Okay, now Wallace is an elder, so we have some elderly cats again. Whoops, Eve is about to age up. Okay, so Eve is now an adult instead of a young adult. Kipper aged up and is now an elderly cat. Cringer aged up and now is an elder as well. Okay, now Eve is cheerful again. Okay, this is just ridiculous. And Precious aged up and is now an elderly cat. So she will be having no more kittens. Oh, Cleo caught a bird of paradise. Maybe I should plant that? I wonder if can anyone plant that? Well, that's the end of another week. And Eve is just putting to the infants to... Oh, and Diamond aged up and became an elder. Well, that's the end of another week. And Eve is just putting the infants to bed. And we almost have our debt paid off. We do have one more $15,000 payment to make. But I think we should be able to do that. Now, I know we have 15,000 simoleons right now. But we need to have enough to afford our bills next week as well. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.